Hey YouTube, today we're going to go over the dumbbell sumo squat. For this exercise, we're going to need a medium to heavy dumbbell, and we're going to place our feet slightly wider than hip width apart. To hold your dumbbell, you can either place one hand over the other one, or you can interlock your fingers, whatever is most comfortable for you. This movement is primarily a hip hinging motion, so our main focus is going to be sitting the hips back and spreading the floor apart. It's very normal to have a slightly forward torso angle here. Remember, if the hips go back, the chest has to go forward. Another thing I want you to notice here is the shin angle. So notice how our knees don't fall forward very much. So in a true squat, our knees will fall forward like this, like I'm showing right here. But in this actual sumo squat, we have more of a vertical shin angle. So that knee isn't really moving. A lot of that motion is coming from sitting the hips back. In my personal opinion, I wouldn't categorize this as a squat, but I also wouldn't categorize it as a deadlift. It kind of sits in this like hybrid category. One of the most common mistakes I see people making in this motion is lifting up their toes. We want equal weight throughout the big toe, the pinky toe, and the heel in this motion. What we're doing when we're lifting up the heel is not loading the glute more. It's simply creating more instability, and we most likely will not be able to adequately load up this exercise. So instead, I want you to think about that tripod foot. Again, equal weight in the big toe, the pinky toe, and the heel. We're sitting the hips back, we're spreading the floor apart, and we're driving through the arch of the foot on the way up. That's the dumbbell sumo squat.